everybody, welcome back to EXO DING! It's 2019, we're bringing it back. I got two amazing contestants that are gonna be here to compete for their very lives to be the champion, first champion of 2019. We've got Ko and Kelly. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. I teach jazz on Saturdays so for absolute beginners. Yeah, what's up? I'm Ko. I teach contemporary on Sundays and also tap. Also, something I found out recently, they went to high school together. Yeah. So, yeah. so there was a lot of competition, I guess, between you guys. Friendly. Friendly <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ask seven questions about different things. If it is multiple choice, I'll read out four options. If you want to answer, ring the bell. The first one who rings the bell gets a chance to answer. If someone rings in and gets it wrong, the other person does have a chance to give it a go afterwards. It's about instructors, the studio, and we're gonna see who has more knowledge or just blind luck, and it's gonna be the champion. Are you guys ready to go? Yes. Yes. Let's okay. go. Okay, okay. The first question is about Sibylla. Now, as you may know, Sibylla has a lot of piercings. Which piercing? is Sibylla's most recent piercing. Is it A, her nose? Is it B, her ears? Is it C, her tongue? Or is it D, somewhere else on her body? Um... Anyone like to go? Okay! <laughs> yes, there we go, there we go. Co, is it A, nose, B, ears, C, tongue, or D, somewhere else on her body? To be honest, I noticed nose and I've noticed ear, mm -hmm. but I haven't noticed tongue. Mm -hmm. That's true. So or elsewhere in her body. <laughs> That's true. Or I think she has a belly piercing. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, okay. I'm okay. not too sure. I can't remember. But so what are you going to go for? I feel like tongue is new. So you're going to lock in C tongue? C. Yeah. Okay. That. And that is? Incorrect! That's not no. correct! Whoa! I'm going to guess. Because um, <laughs> you are Sibylla's friend, right? Yes. And it's something you should know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna guess nose. Okay, you're gonna go with nose? Why are you going for nose? I don't know. Uh, wait, is it too late to change? No, it's not too late to okay, change. Okay, I'm gonna choose ears. Okay, why are you going for ears? I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna go for ears. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna lock in ears? Yes. Eight ears? Okay, she's locked in eight ears. That is incorrect! Oh. It was her nose! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I always do this in his head. Oh. It was her nose. Okay. Her nose was her most interesting. She does have a tongue piercing, but she doesn't actually have any other piercings on her body. Oh, as really? far as we know. Okay, okay. Tiff. Okay. Go ahead, Tiff. Yep. Okay. Which activity did Tiff used to professionally compete in during her primary school? Is it A, figure skating? Is it B, skateboarding? Is it C, field hockey? Or is it D, debating? Okay, okay, okay. You feel you know, or just giving I, a guess? I'm just giving like a, yeah, a Based guess. on what you know of Tiff, or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your guess? Uh, I guess field hockey. You're gonna guess field hockey? Why? Just... Uh, I don't know, I feel like, yeah, just maybe it matches her. I don't know. Okay. You're locking in field hockey Yeah. Too? That is incorrect. Okay. That is incorrect. Okay. Fair enough, so, fair would you like to give it a go? You've got three options remaining. A, figure skating, B, skateboarding, and D, debating. I, I will add to this. She was a ch local champion. Local champion. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna guess debating. You're gonna guess debating? Why yeah. debating? Tiff is always really confident with what she says, you know, like mm -hmm. her That's expression. Right. So like, I feel like I might come from that background. Now. So locking in debating? Yep. All right. That is also incorrect. No. Tiff was a local champion at figure skating. Ah. Figure no skating. way. I was like, I was gonna go figure skating. That's so cool! I know, right? Like, <laughs> I'm, trying I'm trying to picture her! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so the crossover timetable is something that you are both on. Of all the days, there is only one day that only has eight classes on it. Which day is this? Is it A, Monday? Is it B, Wednesday? Is it C, Friday? Or is it D, Saturday? Only one of them has eight classes only. I know. You can think about it. I mean, you can, you can get in your head. Think about which classes are on each day. Okay, 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 going for it. Really confident. Going, maybe not so confident. Not so confident, but I'll pretend. Yeah, I'm going for Saturday. You're going to go for Saturday? That's the day you teach on. That's yeah. today, right? Yeah. That is incorrect. Yeah, that's incorrect. That's okay. Saturday actually has nine classes on it. I guess your class is the one that made it. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> so, Ko, would you like to make a guess? Extend your lead to two points? Okay, I think it's Friday. I think it's Friday. Why Friday? I don't know, I always look at the daily notice things like on Facebook and I feel like Friday is pretty chill. <laughs> Friday know. is pretty chill? However, that is incorrect! Oh. The answer is Monday. Monday, Monday, the only day okay. that has eight yep. classes. Friday actually only has seven. 
All right, let's yeah. watch you. Yeah. 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 Still Damn. anyone's game. Code one point ahead. <laughs> we have three questions left. Robin, B boy Robin. How tall is Robin <laughs> in centimeters? All right. Uh, is he A, 175? Is he B, 180? Is he C, 195? Or is he D, 185? Okay, code thinks he knows. I think 185. 185? Yeah. You're gonna lock 185, right? Yeah. Okay. That is. Correct! Yes! He is 185. Oh, so we have two points. Two points. It's really tall. He's at there, he's right now! <laughs> hey! That's okay. what, oh, yeah. 185 is too tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He actually said when he had his growth spurt, it affected his dance. Because oh, okay. he used to be like shorter, and then suddenly he grew taller, and he started like hit things when he broke and stuff. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Mackenzie. Which instrument did Mackenzie used to play in primary school? In primary school. A, the trumpet. B, the drums. C, the triangle. Or D, the clarinet. Like you told me oh, this, but like, oh. I just can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Now you do need to get two points. You need to get two of the questions right, and he can't get any to be able to win this. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay, <laughs> Kelly's going for it. That's the strategy. Okay, let's go. Okay. Is this it. just a random guess? Yes. Okay, so I'll get it wrong, A trumpet, B drums, C triangle, D clarinet. I'm gonna go drums. You're gonna go drums? Why? Yeah. Does he look like the kind of guy that plays the drums? Is that like your feeling more? I don't know. Drum boys get the girls. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you're saying that because he gets the girls. <laughs> okay, because she finds drummer boys sexy, she's gonna get drums. That is incorrect. Incorrect. That yes. is incorrect. Yes. That's okay. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling it's either trumpet or clarinet. Okay. Uh, Something that you blow into. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with clarinet. You're gonna go with clarinet. Yeah, yeah. All right. That is correct. That is correct. It is clarinet. Yeah. Which puts Ko at three points. Yeah. Which means you cannot get to him. But the last question is always worth two points. Ooh. So you need to get everything right over the next two questions okay. and then we go to the tiebreak. Alright? Okay. okay. The B-boy sign on the floor has the words please donate to Jan in several languages. How many languages are on that sign? Is it A five? Is it B six? Is it C seven? Or is it D none of the other? Okay, so you're going for it. If you get this right, you block Kelly out from winning. Okay. If you get this wrong, she's still have a chance. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's five. You think it's five? Why do you think it's five? Just from memory, from looking at it. Um, yeah, I think it's around five languages. Okay, yeah. you're locking in five. Yeah. Okay. For the game, if you get this right, he is the winner of today. That is. Incorrect! It is not five. So Kelly, now you've got a chance. Here we go. So the, the remaining answers are B6, C7, or D, none of the above. I'll go for C7. Six? Yeah. Okay. Right. What, what's your feeling for going for six? Um, no feeling. No I'm feeling? Just, I'm just guessing. Just guessing? Yeah. All right. Well, that guess is correct! There are six! Oh my god! Thank god! On that sign! <laughs> on the board! On the board! Finally! Yeah. So, this is the final question. If you get this right, Kelly, you are tied with Ko, you will go to a tiebreak question. If not Ko, you are the winner. So, even if you both get it wrong, you still win. Okay. This well, question <laughs> is about Jack. Do you know Jack well? Uh, not very well. Okay. Yeah. And you know Jack quite well. <laughs> but do you know Australian reality TV? Uh, Okay, what is Jack's favorite Australian reality TV show? Is it A. The Bachelor? Is it B. Survivor? Is it D. Dancing with the Stars? Oh, there is it C. Dancing with the Stars? Or is it D. Master Chef? So remember, you need to get this right. This is worth two points because Jack is just that great. But, okay, you're a comment. This is for. Again, if you okay, get it wrong, yep, it's yep, all over. Yep, it's all yep, over. That's it's okay. Over. I'm okay with that. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so it's up to you to win or to lose. Which is Jack's yeah. favorite Australian version of reality TV show? The Bachelor, Survivor, Dancing with the Stars, or MasterChef? I think it's MasterChef. Why do you think it's MasterChef? Uh, I don't know. Why do you like MasterChef? Yeah. <laughs> that is true. A lot of people yeah. do like yeah. MasterChef. A lot of people like all of them. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. true. I 
No, I think it's Master Chef, but okay. it's probably wrong. So you're gonna lock Master Chef? Yeah. Hundred percent. Maybe the last decision I'm making. Ooh, you're making me want to change my well, answer. Well done. If you're, if you're confident with your answer, you'll go Okay, yeah, I'm confident. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. So having locked her answer in as Master Chef, Ko, what do you think? Do you think she's right? Do you think she was wrong? I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Jack likes Master Chef. Yeah, so there's a chance. Okay, so Master Chef most likely Kelly. That answer is. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. Jack's favorite show is The Bachelor, apparently. Really? <laughs> wow. Really? Yes. He said he's been watching it religiously a lot of the seasons. He said that is his favorite Australian reality TV show. But with that, okay. we have to congratulate Co as the winner of the first ever Good job. Good yeah. job. Do you have any words for the champion? Um. <laughs> I'm happy. You know, I only got like three points. Yeah, it's still, it's still great. Thank you very much, Kelly. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank Once you. again, make sure to come to Kelly's class every Saturday. Absolutely, it's at three, at to, three four. to four. Three to four. And Co's contemporary class on Sundays at five. See you one time. Yes, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, excellent. Yes. Yeah. What is your spirit animal? Oh. oh. I would like to say.